We do these uh, questions on social media. How do we follow you on social media? How do you follow me? Yeah, like, like my te- my my na- my name. Yep. So spell it out. <laughs> like, what's what's your account? This is. I tell you what. This is the hardest question for everybody that I speak to. What's your social media account so people can follow you? Mm, okay, it's K Sharp. So K A Y S H A R P S. Okay, so it's not your name. It's K Sharps. Yes. Right. It's not my full name. <sighs> Okay, so <laughs> this is all right. Uh, these are from our fans. Okay, and normally the two old mates sitting here that make up questions as well sometimes. So we'll see which ones we can pick out. Um, oh my god, there's a really awkward one coming up too, and oh I've god. just seen it. <laughs> okay, let's wait. go through it. All right, from Millsy dot on Instagram. Why did you come to Adelaide? And if you've answered it, just look straight down the camera and say, "I've answered that." Listen to the podcast. I've answered that. Listen to the podcast. Great, because you're not going to. Uh, Michelle Sharples on Instagram. Who's your favorite parent? Uh, That's definitely from my mom. Um, Your dad could be called Michelle. I don't know. Um, Mom, we're not going to talk about that one here. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) All right. You can answer any of these. Uh, (laughs) Davies A1 on Instagram. My nine-year-old plays in a mixed team. What age should she move to play all-girls soccer? Well, that's actually really cool. I never got the chance to play on a mixed team. So I think to do that as long as she can will probably benefit her the most. So I just say continue to do that until you see them progress probably a little bit more just because men are develop at a different rate than women. But mm-hmm. yeah, I say keep it up because she's just going to challenge herself more and more. Ben Axford 93 on Instagram. Who's your favorite defender? Ever or in the world on the team. Ben? <laughs> ben, do you have an answer for me? <laughs> Just say a name. It's all good. Um, favorite defender. Well, so on my – I'm just going to say on my team back at home, um, I play next to Tiana Davidson, who's on the national team, mm-hmm. um, and she's young. She's one of, like, the younger players on the national team too. Left-footed, I'm just learning a lot from her, and um, it's been a lot of fun just to play with her because so, she has such a high soccer IQ as well. Thank you very much. Uh, Jess underscore 92 on Instagram. Are you sharp or isn't stating a fact? Am I sh- I... I'll be honest with you. You don't have what? to answer that because I don't understand the question. Are you sharp or, or isn't stating a fact? Maybe just like, is it stating a fact? I, don't know, I would say I'm sharp. Come on. Yeah. Sharp. Oh, like you're talking personality sharp? I, I think so. Right? We just copied it word for word. Uh, <laughs> wasn't sure if it was an in-joke or something. Is that an in-joke? I don't, I don't know. Good. This is going real well. Um, Miranda Templeman on Instagram. What's your favorite Australian slang you've heard? Oh, so funny. Miranda, the, one of the first days I got here, um, we were just, we were on the beach and she was just kind of going like firing at me, all of these different definitions and things. So she taught me, I mean, cool, we call it a cooler. You guys call it an esky. Mm. I think that's kind of cool. Um, I don't like you guys call like fries, you know, things you eat, you call them chips, yep, but yep. so what do you call actual chips here? What are actual chips? Yeah. Like a like potato bat, chips. Like, yeah. You say potato chips. Yeah, That's a bit chips. weird. Yeah, sorry for being but, stoned, <laughs> <geez>. <laughs> That's so, um, but I, know, I, I think I like the esky. Okay. Um, Annie Grove on Instagram. What's your best cat impression? Oh my gosh. Annie. <laughs> So I think I know why she did that. During this weekend, Matilda and Fiona, I'm going to kind of put them on the bus here a little bit. Um, They just started acting like cats randomly at the hotel. And you were talking about what we did in that delay. Um, You acted like cats. They acted like cats, yes. And so I think- This is like pre-game. No, like after the game, once it got kind of canceled. So you're all hyped up on carbs and pre-workout. And like them for sure, Red Bull. And so- I think this is why she got the answer. Um, I don't know. All I'm gonna, I don't. <laughs> Andy is just embarrassing me now. But they were just going like, like meow, and like like in their paws, and like on the ground crawling. And I'm not gonna do that here. But yeah, we're gonna keep it at that. Are you Are you sure you just don't want to like look into the camera? I don't think and I want to do that. What if I do it first? If you do it, I'll do it. Meow. But where's the lick? I don't want to lick myself on camp. Just I'll just say meow, okay. meow, meow. Good. Mine was better. Come on, guys. No, it was great. Um, <laughs> this one's going to be good. I'm looking forward to this one. Just wanted to say congratulations for the season. You and Matilda are my favorite players. That's on Instagram from Juan Day. 
Oh, well, that's not. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I feel bad. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was very sweet. Thank you. What do you like about Juan Day? <laughs> what you doing right now? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. What, I thought you were saying that the car brand. No, no, no. Anyway, tell us about your. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, hey, can I also say, you know who my favourite player at Adelaide United is uh, in our Liberty A-League women's side, apart from yourself, obviously, because you're sitting next to me right now, is Mallory Mullen. I, I love her. She's like, she's a gangster. Like, she's the best. Mm-hmm. Is there a question on that? Nope. Just saying. Nah, she I she, told, she totally told me that you might mention her. She's like, he loves me. And I'm just like, oh, classic like- Mel being very confident. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you thought I was going to do that, then all right. Um, Chelsea Dorber on Instagram, which player does the best American accent besides you? Oh, gosh. Um, so, again, we did this this weekend as well. Um, did you guys play football on the weekend or you just Well, we had things? a lot of downtime. Okay. So, we just were playing random games. Um, I, I don't think it's – I think I'm going to say it's the best because it's the worst, mm. and I'm going to say Fiona. Okay. Uh, Lauren Talbot – La Lauren, Lauren spells Lauren's name with two L's, which is totally fine. La Lauren Talbot, how tall are you? I am 5'10. La Lauren Talbot on Instagram, who do you like better, Mel or Gracie? Nah. Who's La Lauren? They actually put this in? Don't say they. They, 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 totally they told is me right that here. they were going to do it. Well, Mel or I Gracie? I like them equally. I like Gracie better, to be honest with you. <laughs> um, Some days I like Gracie more. Some days I like Mel more. La Lauren Talbot on Instagram. This is question time with Lauren Talbot. All right. What's the most American thing you say in Australia that everyone bullies you for? Ooh. Mm. Well, just kind of the way I say soccer. I say, mm. I kind of say it with an A, and everyone kind of across the world says football, but I've just been growing up, grown up saying soccer, and so I think I a lot I of my that. teammates make fun of me for that, for sure. We're, we're a bit inconsistent with that stuff because I call it football, right? But our national team's called the Socceroos. Mm. So... Yeah, anyway. I mean, well, something that I've been made fun of is that I can't really understand. I also, the first time I came here, I just wanted an iced coffee. I went to the cafe, oh, yeah. I ordered an iced coffee, and they were like, What do you want? I yeah. said, an iced coffee. And they put ice cream in it. And I, I was like, No. So before. I had a full on, like, kind of fight for the first week, ever, for, and it lasted like three minutes each time. They, them telling me, No, there's ice cream in a coffee. I'm like, No, that's a milkshake. So you had a fight with a barista. Not like a fight, but like a constant bath- back and forth. I'm like, I don't understand. Like, do you just have like a hot coffee, but you know, like you pour it over ice and just, yeah. you know, it's iced. And so you guys don't really have that here. So I find that a bit strange. I did the opposite in Brooklyn. So I, I asked for an iced coffee and I'm like, why did you just make me a long black and put ice cubes in it? I could have done yeah. that myself. Well, also I didn't we, get into a fight with him though, because that's a bit Okay, not a yeah. fight. Come on. I'm Use that term loosely. But yeah, I think that's just a little bit strange. You don't really have cold brew either. So. Hmm. All right. Coffee in common. There's some uh, challenges sent out to you. Um, <laughs> y underscore A underscore I underscore M underscore S. Yames or Y Ames or Yay, my son, on Instagram. Uh, favorite boots? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Who knows? Could be. Oh, wait. Oh sorry. There's no N. It's Yames on Instagram. Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was that was bad. That was embarrassing, man. <laughs> Mate, what are your favorite boots? All right. Um, I just have like Nikes, just Nike okay. Predators. Yeah. Harry Scobie four on Instagram. Did you have an idol growing up? An idol? Mm. Um, I this. Yeah, I had uh, my grandma. This might not be what they're saying. Maybe like a soccer idol, but for me, my grandma. Um she's just so awesome. She's done so much with her life and with so little coming from so little. And it's really, really inspiring. And mainly I love that she has just like a curiosity for life, constantly teaching herself things. And I just like hope to be her when I grow up. I love that. Uh, Erin Ramos, 3825 on Instagram, the best teammate you've ever played with. Best teammate I've ever played with. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh, someone just got a message. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> that's a really hard one i don't okay. know maybe come back to that what do you mean come back to that we're At almost end. finished come on. there's one more question okay fine so you want me to ask the last question okay, and okay, then go fine, back to Aaron Ramos. best teammate i've ever played with yeah mm, i'm make this easy um i liked playing with my brother growing up yeah good see these are good easy. answers come on, different. Good. phil heard on instagram that he 
was going to ask a question. <laughs> what is this? No, this, his name's Phil Heard. Oh, and he asks okay. questions every week, and then gotcha. I try to change the joke. So I was like, "Oh, Phil Heard, that Kayla's going to be on the podcast. So let's ask a question. You get it? Clever. Um, <laughs> what do you think of the Australian accent? Oh, sorry. I like it. I think it's fun. Okay, but when I try to do it, I, I can't. I it's very try. no. I'm going to really embarrass myself. I can't do it. But it's very. All right, stop. I just try. I'm going to embarrass accent. myself. You looked in the camera and licked yourself like a cat. I, I fake like. <laughs> so, do your Aussie accent, then we'll wrap this up. Oh, I really, um, it's just gonna go British. Okay, what should I say? Whatever you want. Say, all right, so you're looking forward to, uh, no, I'll try to change it up. Um, come to Cooper Stadium on Saturday if you've got the chance, because it is our Pride match. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> no. I got all day. Just come to Cooper Stadium. You're not going to try it? I don't think so. Okay. I'll just say, no. All right, matey. That's all I got. That was all right. That's mm, better that, than some of the people that work here. That was all right. Huh? Huh? So, all right. So know. this has been an experience. Good. And uh, thank you very much for taking the time to have a chat. It is great to have you here. You've, you've had an outstanding season personally as well. So that is really, really good. The other thing is, which, can I tell you what I've been looking forward to the most this whole year? Just hold that. How I'm going to sign this? Nope. Sharples has a Sharpie. So oh my God. <laughs> she has been waiting for that. Yes. <laughs> That's great. So you can sign this. We will uh, give this away at the okay. end of the season. Um, just a couple of things while Kayla's doing that. Think about the Pride match this weekend. We've got two of them, obviously. Um, thank you to McDonald's, Flinders University, and Pride Cup. The, the game-worn playing shirts, we're going to auction off and raise heaps of money for Pride Cup too, which is going to be brilliant because we want to continue educating people on uh, – how people want to express themselves with their identity, with their sexuality, and we support that as a club. We support that under the A-Leagues too, and we should just do that as a society in general. So uh, if you're considering coming to the matches on the weekend, don't consider it, just do it. The women's game beforehand is going to be great. It's not a curtain raiser. This is a, an equal uh, highlighted main match where we win and things are looking good when it comes to finals, and that's exactly what we want to do. Um And again, I said this with Josh, I said this to everyone, it makes me proud to wear these t-shirts and be part of this club because we're doing something like this. You're going to be playing in the game. Congratulations. Thank you. Have you had a good time? I have, yeah. Are you going to listen to this? I will definitely listen to this one. Okay, so she's a great player (laughs) and a liar, which is fantastic. No, I will. (laughs) We'll be back next week. Adelaide United fans, we'll see you on the weekend. Kayla Sharples has been, where'd you sign the top? Right here. Okay, great. Awesome. That's nice. Is it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Cheers, guys. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for listening. Bye.